Thank you. I do want to highlight, though, that the real founder of Plant for the Planet was uh, Vangari Matai, but we are really trying to build on her work um, in what we're doing. Could we have the slides, please? Thanks to some really excellent um, work in the last um, few months uh, with the decade on global landscape restoration, lots of your work and also some high impact research. The world is slowly waking up to the fact um, that tree planting is a crucial part of the solution to the climate crisis. This all happened within uh, two days in July. The Guardian um, probably went a little too far, but the message is getting out there. And at the same time, thanks to the fantastic work of all the ch um, children, youth around Greta and Alexandria um, and all those other wonderful activists, millions of young people and adults all around the world want to get engaged and do something. So what we really need to do is find a way how all of these people can work with us, can help us in landscape restoration. And not knowing how lucky we are going to be with the timing, we started building an app two, months, uh, two years ago that we are now able to launch. And I just want to quickly show you what it can do. The idea is that it allows everyone around the world to help us with landscape restoration. I do seem to have an issue with my clicker. Would you be so kind as to click for me? One more time. So the app is available for Android and iOS and also on the web. And it's very simple. You just sign up, and then you have your own little tree counter. And it counts all the trees that you've planted. Click, please. And then if you go outside and plant a tree, the tr um, you can say where you planted the tree, what kind of tree you planted. If you're super engaged, you can also add measurements over time. Um, and um, you can add photos and so on. Um, next, please. And for all the people that don't want to have dirt under their fingernails, that don't actually want to plant trees themselves, we have a solution for them as well. They can find fantastic tree planting projects from all around the world on the app and then donate directly to them. So these organizations will essentially plant trees for you and this contributes to your tree counter. So we've got the first um, 50 projects up there from 20 plus countries. Um, but uh, we want to add a lot uh, more pr such projects in the future. And what's really, really important here is that we at Plant for the Planet don't take any of the money, not from the NGO, not from the donor. 100% of the money goes directly to the project. That's really important here. We're just trying to have a platform that makes it as po possible for people to support um, tree planting. Next, please. And to make sure that all of this is fun as well, you can follow your friends and get updates when they plant trees. You can challenge your friends and you can start tree planting competitions in your school, in your company, with other schools, and so on. Um, and there are a lot of other features, like the fact that you can see all the trees planted all around the world. We've got all the data from the Billion Tree Campaign in there already. Next. And you can see a map of where forests exist and a map of global restoration potential as well. Next, please. And we've also got a new type of Forbes list that doesn't show um, how much money people have, but it ranks people by how many trees they've planted, how many trees they've donated. And next, please. So I do want to encourage you to try it out um, and download it. Um, we've not, we are officially launching it today, but we did see that in the beta phase these last few months, even though we haven't really published it yet, We've got 5,000 people that have already donated through the app. They've donated an average of over $40 and a, a donated a total of 500,000 trees through the app um, already. So this is at the very beginning, but we are seeing that it's working. So what are the next steps? The first thing that we're working on is we're do it building a tool that relies on remote sensing to estimate the amount of carbon these projects are capturing. Um, this is not going to be a perfect system, but the idea is that we build trust that the user, the, don the donor can see that their money doesn't get lost somewhere in the process, but that something is actually happening on the ground. This is all about building trust. It's really difficult, more difficult than we expected when we started this, but if things go well, this is going to be ready in the next 12 months. And the biggest challenge we're currently still facing with this app is deciding on which kind of projects belong on there, which standards to have for the projects on there. 
Because on the one hand, we want to make sure these are high quality projects. And on the other hand, we also want to make sure that we have a diversity of approaches, diversity of restoration strategies. So we're still really um, struggling with this in defining these standards. But we've got so many experts here uh, in the room. So if you want to help us with this, we would be incredibly grateful because we really um, need, need your help on this. And this is the very early um, phase. This is the first version of this. A lot is still going to happen. A lot is still going to improve. So if you have any suggestions of what kind of projects should be on there or how we can build on this app and improve the app, please do tell us. And one uh, very last thing. You might know that we um, sell chocolate in Germany to plant trees. Unfortunately, we don't sell the chocolate here today uh, in the US. but. I was able to smuggle um, about 100 bars through airport security past those dogs. So they're all back there with my friend Uday. Um, so feel free to grab one later on. Thank you, guys.